Brian Bowen. I'm the owner and director of the Canadian Academic Success School. Um, I've been a teacher since 1985. During that time, I taught high school, I, taught, I teach at Seneca College, and I also taught for a couple of years in Japan. Um, so I feel that uh, I'm well qualified to help you with understanding movies. And tonight, of course, we're going to be having our movie salon, where we will talk about using conversational English in movies. So welcome to the movie salon. The movie salon is a class for learners who uh, want to hear English in a natural setting. Uh, modern movies try to use uh, natural English as much as possible. Uh, they, they don't want to sound artificial in any way. I will use subtitles in the films and Students take notes. I stop the film every half an hour or so, and people ask questions about vocabulary, about idioms, about cultural context, and really anything that uh, can help them to understand the movie. Idioms are by far the most difficult thing for them. They, they, uh, they, when they hear uh, a long, difficult word, I know people are going to pick up on that. Uh, but idioms usually go over the person's head. Uh, that I'm using idiom there as well. <laughs> what that means is that they understand uh, all the words, but they don't really understand what they mean in combination. Say, yeah, it's for Randy. Or Randy for our, for our English friends. <laughs> How do you select the movies? Um, each month I have a different theme for the Fridays and for the Mondays. There's a theme for Fridays and Mondays. Uh, for example, in August of this year, uh, the Friday theme was uh, a Seth Rogen film. Seth Rogen is an actor who uh, was born in Vancouver, grew up in Vancouver. And Monday, I was using summer holiday films because it was August and was summer holidays. Uh, but <clears throat> beyond the theme, the thematic uh, ways, I also have to look at the length of the film. Uh, we have a limited time. People don't want to stay here till midnight. And then finally, of course, I look for the language in the film. Um, is this language useful for people? Or is, uh, is it just far too difficult for people? Accents are also another problem. Many people have uh, difficulty if uh, characters are speaking with a heavy accent. Movie. When I hear those sentences or those idioms, it's, I think, a great opportunity to ask the meaning of those expressions and because I'm seeing in a movie, in the context of a movie, it's uh, easier to understand it. English expressions uh, that I can understand, but uh, Brian uh, can explain. Usually explain very well and uh, very authentically. Uh, these movies help me a lot because uh, they're fun and they are, I could say in a way, so educational. I, I've learned many, many different new words and specifically slangs from these movies. I think it's a good way to, to, ha to, to, have, to gain uh, more vocabulary and in a faster and friend play, friend, friendly place. <laughs> Dump, 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 dump. To dump on somebody, yeah, is to insult them, to treat them badly. It's not boring at all. It's really fun, and he always, you know, cracks a lot of jokes. You know, whenever we have a class, yeah, it's very, it's very fun. <laughs> I like Brian. He is very good teacher. Fridays are kind of turning into my movie nights, and. Um, like, by default, I know that I have a plan for Friday. I'm gonna go watch a movie at Brian's place, Brian's office. Every other week, yeah, I'm here. Um, just watching the movie, and then after that, sometimes you go for a drink, which is really fun. I think a lot of friendships have been made uh, through the movie salon.
enjoy. Awesome.